on matters solid waste management and sanitation. And that is why when I got the invite from the chair, I purpose to be here today. Because nimefanya kazi na wale ambao wanaishi kwa hiyo mitaa. And nilipokuwa nikizunguka kidogo kidogo I have encountered young people trying to recycle young people making art young people working in private institutions to dignify the livelihoods of our parents of our siblings of the people who live in those areas and for that I do not take it for granted. It is my pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, today, as we observe the World Toilet Day 2024, and the theme of this city is Toilets, a Place for Peace. Honorable Bishop and Chair to the Nairobi Rivers Commission, this site was chosen to remind you of the mandate at hand and the gravity of the situation in Nairobi County. The global sanitation goal is to ensure access to adequate and equitable sanitation and hygiene for all by the year 2030 and this, as most of you know, is according to the SDG number 6.2. However, the goal here is yet to be achieved. And specifically in the country, the mandate is shared between ourselves, the Ministry of Water and Sanitation, and the county government. This is a wake-up call to both of us. Because this cannot be done via pointing of fingers. It is not blame shifting. There is no room to castigate. I am here to call for teamwork because more than 3.5 nationally, globally, billion people are still living without safely mandated sanitation, out of which 419 million practice open defecation. Today, all of us have borne witness to what has happened to once a vigorous and resourceful Nairobi Dam that used to host sporting events. On this regard, I will recognize the deliberate efforts of our President, His Excellency William Samuel Ruto, working hand in hand and synergizing with multilaterals, bilaterals, and development bank partners who continue to cooperate and to collaborate with us on water and sewerage development. More so, market based sanitation management models and the new funding blending financing systems for non seaward sanitation, which is rampant in our informal settlement areas. I am a proponent of decentralized sewer systems to ease pressure on our existing treatment uh, plants, especially in urban towns. We have to synergize the two. We need to create an enabling environment and ensure there is enough financing and sector coordination. And that is why Nairobi Rivers Commission was created and tasked, I think it's a month ago, with the responsibility of coordinating all stakeholders. The ministry, Nairobi County, and all relevant governmental and governmental organizations 
that are invested in making sure that our Nairobi rivers are clean. Gong River being one of them. In order to accelerate achievement of universal access to water and sanitation in the government of Kenya formulated as a ministry what we call a national water and sanitation investment and financing plan. This is the vehicle we are using to drive and to drum support for our sanitation investments, Nairobi rivers, and others being some of them. In this plan, there will be a cost projection of approximately 925 billion from the year 2023 to the year 2030 in the first jointly developed intergovernmental water and sanitation investment plan. In implementing the plan, we have an aim to repurpose at least 1 billion of water sector funding to accelerate open defecation free status in 13 counties that currently account for almost 79% of all open defecation in the country. There is room because we are still calling to our development partners to raise capital through blended financing, co-financing, private capital through the private uh, non-governmental organizations, also in among us, tapping on household contributions, among others, as all are being streamlined to ensure that our people have dignified sanitation conditions. As a sector, and I say this with whole, with a lot of keenness, we need to have candid conversations. We need to have candid conversations irrespective of our positions. Our informal settlement areas, and His Excellency has pronounced him himself clearly that the plan has to work. And this is a challenge to myself, to the ministry, to the Nairobi uh, county government, through the Nairobi Water and Sewerage Company, and all related governmental and non-governmental organizations. It is a wake-up call to ensure that no one is left behind on matter sanitation. I am aware of the ongoing Nairobi Sewers Improvement Project. I am aware of the recently uh, planned project as a short-term measure to clean Nairobi rivers. This project has housing component, more so as a sewerage system to run alongside our rivers to minimize what all of us have seen today along Gong River. I call on the Baraza seated here. I call on the youth ambassadors, the lady, the poet, who articulated the actual situation in our informal settlements on matters living conditions. I call on the, all the communities to speak in one language. I call on our young people as these projects are bound to create jobs and ensure that we provide ourselves a clean environment. The ministry, and I promise you, is very keen on these projects. The Nairobi Rivers Sewerage Improvement Project, when I live here, I will talk to my CEO of Adi Water Works Development Agency by the name Engineer Joseph Kamau. And if this place in one of our projects, Nairobi River Sewerage Improvement Project, is not covered, let's at least do something along this river. As we await, that will be a temporary measure. But the long-term game is the Nairobi Rivers Restoration Program.
that will dignify not only Kibera, but all other Mkuru, Kwajenga, and all other areas that are facing the situation we have around here. It is sad that we can spend time exchanging words instead of taking action. And I am grateful for your audience as we live here and depart. My, my parting shot is let, let us not sit on the fence on this one. Let us not politicize this one. This is a matter of making sure our brothers and sisters, our mothers, our fathers, ourselves, and our future generations live free and are able to access proper sanitation irrespective of their means and earnings. Allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to conclude there. Because this is a conversation that cannot be postponed. And Nairobi Commission, please, I know you are just one month in. Let us work together. Let us push each other. Community and young people within us, raise your voices when the commission is failing. Because we are here to perform and deliver. Bishop, you have a job to do. As I have. Thank you so much and have a great evening. Asante sana.